Okay, hello, how are you? This is Kay. So I was doing the live stream. I was trying to do live stream earlier, but um, some issues happened, software issue happened, and I couldn't continue. So that's why I finished the live stream and taking this video recording. So first, I wanted to say thank you so, so much uh, to those who sent me messages and comments on YouTube um, because of what happened to me for the last one week. I had the toughest, toughest situation in my life. And at this point, I don't want to tell details, but maybe in the future I may tell what exactly happened. But um, yeah, my emotion still up and down. So I couldn't really trade last week and I couldn't eat well, I couldn't sleep well. So yeah, like today also I was, last night I only slept like two, three hours and I woke up and uh, in the afternoon I took a nap for like two hours, a bit longer nap and here I am. But um, things are, in myself, I think things are going well and if I overcome a tough situation, then I know that I will be stronger and um, I can be, uh, you know, uh, more um, yeah, stronger and stable emotionally too. So, uh, yeah, so today I just wanted to say thank you. I actually was watching my YouTube video I posted on Monday, two days ago, and I got uh, 403 like buttons and also what's more, the number of comments were um, 107 and um, every single word you message me here in the YouTube or email or uh, direct messages are so encouraging and every single word um, I, get, I get energy from these comments and um, yeah, I really, um, it, I really feel thankful, thankful to, um, to, um, to receive these messages. And yeah, it's really heart touching, heartwarming really much. So again, thank you so, so much. And I am slowly coming back. So this week I was going to do live today because I feel better now and I took a nap but um, I am not still sure how many days, how many times exactly I can do live stream videos every week, but slowly I'm coming back now. So that's one of the news I wanted to uh, share with you today. So uh, yeah, you know, things happen in life, yeah, but um, like I mentioned on the previous video, uh, in Japanese we say, rain drops and the ground become harder. So when it rains, then uh, we feel rain means like sorrow or like uh, sadness. Uh, but um, when it does, then on the ground, when the rain hits the ground and after it gets, dry, it gets dry, ground becomes stronger. So I think, um, you know, no challenges or no difficult times cannot be overcome. I mean, I think we can overcome, you know, challenges. And once you do, then we become better and we become stronger than before, much, much stronger than before. And in any cases, you know, if it's something about the relationship, then um, I'm sure you can be more kind to others and you can understand more to others if that's difficult situation to overcome. So yeah, it, it was really difficult for me, much more the difficult than trading. You know, trading is just, you know, buy and sell. And even if I lose money, I can always, you know, um, make it up. But uh, when things happen in my life, emotionally, especially, then it's invisible. And it was really hard for me to control. But um, again, it was a big lesson for me, definitely. And um, I learned a lot of lessons. And I was speaking with some of my friends and they always encouraged me also. And um, yeah, this is when I feel 
I think this is when the, the, the connection becomes much more stronger among my friends. So yeah, I'm back now. So that's the first topic I wanted to share today. And second topic I want to share is about the markets. Because I'm here and I haven't been able to trade some of the days for the last one week, I wasn't able to see, see charts either. But today I, I checked the charts and I will just share three best pairs I think right now. So here is the trading view and one of the best pairs I think is the pound JPY. This is a four hour time frame. This is a four hour time frame and pound JPY is bullish now. Kumo is bullish. Senko span B is up, Senko span A is up. Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both bullish. And Chiko span above candles and it broke the resistance level. Resistance level of 183.00. So looks like this is bullish and Kumo thickness is there. When Kumo is too thin, then I don't recommend you to trade, but because of the Kumo thick here, I think this uptrend is continuous. So I think pound JPY looks one of the best pairs to trade. And also I pick a pound USD. Pound USD also bullish. This one is similar to uh, pound JPY, but after it broke the resistance level here, on uh, 1.2269, it has been bullish. And Kumo is up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, both bullish. And Chikou Span above candles too, above Kumo too. So pound USD also looks good in a four hour time frame. And also um, USD C rank looks good. This market is good because Kumo down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, and Chikou Span below candles, so it's bearish. But what's more, there was a double top and neckline and the Kumo breakout happened over here. And ever since it has been below Tenkan Sen, below the blue Tenkan Sen, and it has been bearish. It touched the Tenkan Sen twice, been resisted after the Kumo breakout, and then now it's bearish. So again, USCC's franc is um, one of the most volatile and spiky market because this is the Swiss franc, but um, in terms of the trend, in terms of its momentum, looks good. So again, pound JPY is bullish, looks good, and pound USD also is bullish, and USD Swiss franc. And I have scanned the other um, forex pairs on my watch list, but they are either choppy or ranging or spiky. So I found these three are the best. So. Uh, yeah, for me, I am not still sure exactly when I start to trade because when I meditate, um, I still feel my emotions up and down. So um, I think I will, I may, I may need more time, a bit more time to, to, uh, to calm myself down. And also um, because of this event, um, I started something new and that is journal my own life. So I have been journaling my trades, but I never journal my own life and my own emotion. So this is this suggestion was actually made by one of the one of my GTS students. But um, yeah, she suggested me to journal the feelings every day. So and I already see the power of it. Uh, I have been journaling my feelings for the last three days still short, three days only, but I released the power because um, I put the memo like three days ago that the, uh, you know, I was like putting why this thing happened and, you know, um, I was kind of uh, very sad. I was extremely sad and I don't know what to do next. I was basically um, depressed three days ago, but today, I wrote something, like I mentioned uh, before, like uh, I become stronger and I find big lessons because of this uh, event, because of what happened to me this time. So I can already see some psychology changes uh, today and three days ago. 
And if I keep on writing, then I'm sure it becomes powerful. So um, this is something I newly started and I will continue to share uh, how I do it and exactly how I feel the power of journaling, my own feelings. I'm using a technique called uh, bullet journal. So uh, you can maybe Google search bullet journal and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. It, it's also a good therapy, therapy for myself too so that I can really express my feelings on memo and note. You know, I don't want to type in this, in this one. I actually uh, bring a pen and paper and uh, write, you know, uh, handwrite those uh, feelings and um, uh, emotions. And also at the same time, I, I write something that I appreciate every day. Like even small things, like uh, I had the good coffee, uh, I had the, you know, a nice sunny day today, like that. I just put, I try to focus something positive too, and that's something I also learned from uh, one of my GTS graduate students. So it has been a big journey for me, but definitely I find I start to find my new routine and new healthy routine and mindset, and uh, I'm sure it will make me stronger and. Um, you will see some changes in myself. So, yeah, again, um, thank you very much for everything you do you've done to me uh, on comment and messages and yeah, all these encouragement I get. And yeah, I will continue to do this, continue to do live stream on YouTube and also continue to share what I find on the market and through Ichimoku knowledges. So I hope uh, you also continue to learn together with me and also, um, yeah, keep on going without giving up. So again, thank you very much. Until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane.